So we've got a flow snap front and a flow R2 rear tyre. So these are enduro tyres from V Tyre Company or V Tyre Co. These are a 2.5 tacky compound in the enduro casing. So they have an enduro casing, a gravity casing, and I believe they have a lighter casing as well. Now, first thing I noticed when I got these out of the box is the carcass itself doesn't feel too bad, but it's not quite as supple as it's it's almost like more closer to a plasticky feeling than a rubbery feeling. So a friend of mine had a Continental Race King maybe back in the was yeah a few years ago uh, XC tire and it was very much a plasticky casing, so I wasn't a fan of that at all, but. This is closer to a rubber, Maxi's rubber casing, but it's not, it's not quite as supple and it's not quite as, uh, just doesn't feel quite as good. So I, no, I noticed it feels a little bit stiff and, and kind of rigid, I guess. Not like a downhill casing rigid, but it's like a plasticky rigid feeling. So anyway, put them on the bike. The first couple of runs, they were quite, quite skatey and really didn't feel that good. So it turns out they've got a, they must have a release compound or something that protects them when they're in storage. Because after the, I reckon the second climb, they started to feel a little bit better. And then the th by the third climb, they felt good. And by the fourth climb, it was completely in the back of my mind. So the thought of them not being a good tire is in the back of my mind. But it did have me on edge at the start. So I was tiptoeing, first couple of runs, it was at Anstey's Hill. Uh, kind of wet, so there was a fair bit of grip out there the first time I went out. Now, Front tyre, once they started hooking up, let's have a look at this, get a bit of a closer view. So you can kind of see, so all the side lugs head, head outwards off the tyre. Now, that made this tyre turn in extremely well. So wickedly responsive, wickedly reliable once I got used to where the edge of grip was. So because the side knobs are, are quite, or the, the profile of the tyre when it's on the rim is quite square still as you lay it over it's grip 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 just so much confidence in the grip and then say you're exiting a berm or something and you've got to still look for grip on the flat after the berm kind of finishes it'll just disappear on you so it's got a it's got a very pronounced edge of grip but within within that grip it's it is excellent the grip itself Considering the compound, so they call it the tacky compound, this is 48 durometer on the sides, 52 durometer on the top. So they say uh, give or take two, so it might be 46, it might be 50 on the sides. But to me, they feel good, they feel closer to a 46 and a 48 on, the, on those sides. That's pretty subjective of me, but they feel good. They feel like they've got a lot of grip and uh, great confidence. Great, they're a reliable tyre once you get used to where the edge of the grip is. The back tyre, it's quite square. So again, we'll look at it as if we're looking from the back of the bike. It's quite square, so it's got the uh, plenty of speed here and then good braking surface on the back here. Cornering grip was great, felt good cornering. The uh, speed felt good. They don't feel sluggish at all. The side walls, just looking at it here, I don't know if you can tell that much, but they're quite robust. So they're a little bit plasticky, but they're also quite robust. And if we look closely, it's got this. It's got this kind of webbed pattern, like six sided, I guess they call it hexagon. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but. It's definitely a robust sidewall. It's definitely a really, really robust sidewall. So I clipped it on a, on a couple of big, kind of sharp, yeah, what I'd consider to be sharp rocks, thinking that was either close or that was a tear. And every time it happened, no worries. I never burped them. They don't hold air as well as I'd hoped. So they don't really lose air during a ride, like during a, a day of riding, maybe a, a PSI. But over the week of letting them sit, or over a few days of letting them sit, they definitely lost a little bit of pressure. So the casing's not completely airtight, 
I get from that. I didn't see any seepage or anything like that from the sealant. Didn't see any seepage on the on the bead, but I'm assuming it's coming from the bead, the uh, the seeping, because this pattern, and it's on the front and the rear. The the front one is just a dotty pattern. It's just heaps of dots, but the rear has got this uh, six sided shapes, millions of six sided shapes. So I reckon the rear, because the, and the rear definitely lost more air than the front did. So I reckon that rear loses a little bit of air through the through the bead, probably. Uh, cornering on the back, it, it was just it just made the whole like the the tyres complement each other. I think it just made the whole bike ride really really well, real responsive, quite nimble. The weaknesses and the downside of these tyres were what I was kind of expecting when I felt that when I felt that casing or that carcass. You feel so much more through these tyres than you do with the DHF. That's the max grip I've got on the front, so it's, it's as good as it gets. Uh, Aggressor 60A on the back. Really, really good, I like that. The feel, uh, also, just a quick note, I was running the Affetto Mariposa Tire Invader, which I've just done a review for as well. I was running that in these tyres, front and back. And uh, I thought maybe that was contributing to the chatter, because these tyres, you feel a lot more chatter down the trail than you do on it. Pretty much any Maxi's tyre I've run. So it, it almost feels a little bit like the 60A Maxi's tyres, but a little bit less supple again. So uh, overall, cornering wicked. I love, I love how these knobs shape outwards. I love how these side knobs shape outwards. I think that plays a huge part in how well and how quickly it responds. And there's no, there's no feeling of sluggishness. There's no feeling of vagueness. It's just real, real nimble, real, real trail bike feel, uh, like short travel trail bike feel. That that turn, that flick, and it just really, really good. So the grip was excellent. That turning was phenomenal. But stability at high speed, which may have something to do with them. You're feeling more through the trail, so it doesn't give me the confidence of the stability at high speed. But I, and when I'm talking about stability, I'm just talking about tracking. I'm not talking about the the sidewall stability. I'll talk about that in a sec. But the tracking, it just doesn't feel super confidence inspiring at high speed on like Horsemills Gully. I did a lot of riding at Horsemills Gully on these tyres. I did Ansys Hill and Horsies. So charging at Horsies down, especially down the bottom half, there's a couple of real high speed bits. They felt good, confident grip, but not quite super stable on that high speed where you're trying to hold a good straight line through loose stuff. So, and feeling more than I'd like to through the through the through the bike. It, it almost feels like your suspension's a little over damped. That's what this mm, maybe like an older spring. It, it almost feels like the older older suspension. Like you get a little bit of that extra chatter. So that's the weakness, the only weakness I found in these tires. Sidewall, I ran them 26 at the rear and 24 at the front, just with the Fetto Mariposa inserts, which are quite thin. Uh, yeah, it's not like a cush core or something like that. It's literally just there to protect your rim, and it definitely did. So, uh, I've dropped a review on that as well, so check that out. That's right, casing. Sorry, I've lost track of what I was talking about for a minute there. These sidewalls, strong, really strong. I'd say they weigh uh, 1,045 grams, so 1,045 grams, just over a kilo. Similar to a double down, uh, say a high roll two double down, I think is about a kilo. DHF double down's probably closer to 1100. So in that realm, uh, the casing, it actually felt more firm and more solid. The sidewall felt more firm and more solid than what a double down feels. When I run double downs, I always have to run a little bit more pressure in the back because they feel squirmier. The double downs, to me, feel squirmier than an XO and definitely squirmier than this but they're stronger than that, so they're, they're stronger in their cut resistance. So double down, more pressure, they feel super supple anyway. The double downs feel more supple than any other Maxi's tire that I ride, that I've, that I've run. Maybe in, you know, uh, on par with the DH casing, but they feel super supple, they feel really good. These, they don't feel supple, but the sidewall's strong. Like I said, I smashed this sidewall into so much stuff on the back, never had an issue, was very impressed. So, V Tire Company, if you can improve this carcass, make this carcass feel less chattery, or maybe it's, you know, 
maybe it's just the higher durometer rubber. I don't know, I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's that casing. But if you can improve that casing, you're an absolute winner here. These tires are wicked. Once I got used to that edge of grip and knew that I can push it to, to that kind of angle, and yeah, it, it gives you a feeling. It does, once you get used to them, it does give you a feeling of where you're, where you're pretty much on the edge. And the grip is excellent when you're right on that edge. And that's what kind of pushes you to go further and then just disappears on you. So uh, love, the, love the design, love the speed, love the way they, they move and they roll. Love the way these corner knobs turn out. I love the responsiveness of it. Just could put the front tire wherever you wanted, but you felt too much through the chatter. So too much of the chatter through the tire. So yeah, wicked tires, wicked designs. Just all you got to do is improve this casing, I believe, and you're on an absolute winner. So V Tire Company, uh, Cycle Sports is or Cycle Sports Oz maybe are the guys who hooked me up with this tire. So they're a uh, they're the supplier here in SA. Thank you very much for hooking me up. Whippets Workshop, it was kind of teed up through them. So thanks for that, guys. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in trying them, see if you can find some in a shop. Uh, I'm not too sure if too many people stock them at the moment, but they will become more popular. And, and hopefully they can improve this casing and make them a, uh, a real top-end competitor because to me, the turn-in and whatever is better than the DHF for sure. The DHF feels a little bit... It sticks to its line, it's wickedly, wickedly stable, but the turn-in is a little bit, it's, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it's wicked. I love that the turn-in's a little bit slower on that. Um, but I think if, if that had a little bit of this turn-in, it'd be a better tire. So everything else about the Minion is, is better. So my next tires I'm gonna test are DHR2 front and rear. So I've heard a lot of people have been running them and uh, I'm intrigued. So I've destroyed a lot of DHR2s and I'm almost off them. But We'll see how we go. I'll give them one more chance. I'm going to go to XO Plus casing, see how they are. And uh, but for now, thanks Cycle Sports, thanks Whippets, and uh, get out there and ride for sure. If you want to try these tires, I got them given to me, so I'm more than happy to pay them forward and and uh, let someone else have a crack on them as well. So hit me up.